tumekuwa tukifuatilia hii theme life ceased until i deborah a mother arose amen there is something unique about motherhood very very unique amen utagundua in the spiritual realm a woman can stand as a father amen can stand as a father but there is no father that can stand as a mother but there is was if you so ndio bwana anasema majira haya anahitaji neema ya mama a mother amen and a mother in israel na nataka kuamini ya kwamba bwana atatusaidia na jana jioni tuliangalia the seeing of a mother na tukaangalia wanawake kadhaa sio wanawake hasa hiyo jina spendi wa mama mothers praise the name of the lord ambao walisimama na wakati walisimama kuna generational mistakes zilizoiliwa ya yeah? there were demonic conspiracies that were reversed as mothers stood praise the name of the lord na ni ombi langu ya kwamba wakati kama wa sasa that there are very many uh, demonic decrees zinataka kupitishiwa bila kujua mothers will be alert enough and they will take their position and i love these women that hawakubishana kama rebecca hakubishana na isaac hapana she did what she was supposed to do amen sara hakubishana na ibrahimu lakini tunaona alikuwa na backup ya mungu na bwana anasema sara is right praise the name of the lord hata kama amefanya mistake in the past this time around she is right do not be a captive of your mistakes be released from them and progress by the power of the almighty god amen na tukaona huyu mama mwingine alikuwa anaitwa hana you know and these women always positioned giants they gave birth to giants and positioned them amen na wanawapatia ushauri na tukaangalia hana jana ya kwamba alisimama na kukutana na hitaji la nyumba ya Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa sababu when strange things happen in the house of the Lord, a mother is needed to bring order. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you children of God, kuna tabia ya nyumba hii. Na tabia ya nyumba hii ni upendo. Yesu alisema penda neni kama nilivyowapenda amri mpya na wapa penda neni na kuna tabia ya hii nyumba inaitwa umoja oh yesu akaomba in john 17 akasema that they may be one praise the name of the lord na kuna tabia ingine ya hii nyumba hii inaitwa nyumba ya maombi so when the temperatures of prayer are going down mothers must raise up wakati upendo wa wengi unapoa mothers should rise up when there is a lot of discord mothers are needed when there are strange behavior in the house mothers should rise up even as hana rose up praise the name of the lord this house had become a house of strife and competition it had become a house where people were coming when they are bitter but a mother was needed it was a house where hana alikuwa amekuja na barrenness for 20 years amen na tunataka kutangaza as mothers rise barrenness will give way hata barrenness ya miaka mingapi lazima iishi kwa sababu kuna wa mama ambao wanainuka amen na Hana alilelea Mungu mtoto tofauti sana. Ndio alisema wakati uh, 
mm, naitwaje elikana anamwambia twende kwa hekalu akasema uh uh-uh, sina haraka sina haraka let me sit back let me nurture this boy let me nurture this vessel for god i tell you the truth tukiona wana wahubiri fake wahubiri wa jaiva mothers alijua hii huyu mtoto na dada ya Mungu huyu atastahimili maovu yaliyo kwa tembo atakuwa mtakatifu katikati ya watu waovu kwa sababu gani hakuondokea jukumu lake let me tell mothers amen praise the name of the lord that it is possible to raise servants of god for god that can be able to withstand the challenges of their generation and by the help of god they stand na biblia inasema she brought a robe to samuel every year huyo ni mama ambaye haondokei praise the name of the lord and life until a mother arose leona tatu angalie huyu mama mwingine anaitwa abigail in the book of first samuel chapter 25 a unique woman for the sake of time nitarukaruka scriptures but i want you to see wakati wote kulikuwa na transition god positioned the woman a mother yeah transition ya early to samuel hana stood sasa hii ni transition ya uongozi from saul to some i mean to david mungu analeta mwanamke mama amen wakati wa transition ya kutoka ukuhani wa zamani mpaka ukuhani wa Yohana Mbatizaji maandiko yanasema Elizabeth alisimama mothers of a sea transition they are agents of transition jana tukaona from wilderness to the promised land god positioned a mother by the name Rahab Twanzi first 10 for the purposes of understanding. Um acha twanze 9 verses 9. And when David's young men came they spoke to Nabal according to all those words in the name of David and ceased. And Nabal answered David's servant and said, Who is David? Unaona ile mokari ile ile Who is David <laughs> And who is the son of Jesse In other words ikuheshimu hata baba yako simheshimu Yeah There be many servants nowadays that break away from every man from his master Alikuwa anarusha Daudi kwa trap ya nini guilt Natiweni kuondoka umeondokea Sauli wewe Yeah wewe ni kufanya umefanya ni trap ya guilt alikuwa anataka amnase na guilt do not allow yourself to be trapped in guilt so long as kila unajua unafanya ni kizuri wachana na maoni ya wanadamu amen so long as hauja hukumika na unajua uko katika mapenzi ya bwana watu wengi hata wako katika bidii ya bwana wanatolewa kwa makusudi ya Bwana na guilt. Unazifanya kimbere mbere. Ambia mtu mimi si wa kinyuma nyuma. That is why I'm mbere mbere. Because I was not ordained to be nyuma nyuma. Don't allow guilt to hinder you from serving the Lord and doing what you are supposed to do. Let's move on. The Bible inasema shall then take my bread and my water and my flesh that i have killed for my shearers and give it unto men whom i know not where they be why did he not know them because he was blind alikuwa na upofu sasa hangetambua kalenda ya mungu na agenda ya mungu na kile mungu anafanya na sitaki kurudi kwa hiyo tuliangalia jana verses 12 Bila inasema so David's young men turned their way and went again and came and told him all those You can read that chapter because of time Nataka uangalie hivi 
majira haya hayakukuwa majira rahisi please it was not and when times are very tough god has a habit of positioning mothers 25 chapter of first samuel Saul is dead na amekufa na watoto wake bado Israeli haijari kadha vizuri kutoka kwa aibu kejeli na dhihaka how can their king die na watoto wake in one day wanakatwa kichwa wakati dhihaka ya kanisa imeenda juu God is in need of mothers. Amen. When the mockery of the church is high, God is in need of mothers. Na wakati huu pia Samueli amekufa. Kwa hivyo sauti ya Mungu imeadimika. Kwa sababu gani wana wa Samueli hawakufuata njia za baba yao? May God help us not to raise up sons of Berial. Amen. Who cannot take after us. Who do not have our character. They are strange sons. May that not be our portion. And may you never become a son of Berial. May you inherit the inheritance of your father. And go farther than your father has gone. According to the order of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa ni majira magumu sana. Na wakati huu nataka uangalie uzito uliokuwa umekalia Daudi. Kwa sababu gani the mentor is gone. Yeah? The mentor ambaye alikuwa Samuel ameenda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haukukua wakati rais sorry is not David it is um, it is Saul. Haukukua wakati rahisi kwa Daudi hata kidogo baada ya Samuel saa hizi anakimbizwa na Saul eh Saul anamtafuta anamkimbiza amuue na sasa his place of refuge imebomolewa hakuna wa kutembelea but at this time Daudi ilikuwa azalike into the next king na unajua huduma ya Daudi ilikuwa huduma kubwa because he was a king but he was also a priest so alibeba kofia mbili na mahali pengine pia alikuwa prophet praise the name of the lord so jukumu lake ilikuwa kubwa na ndiposa alihitaji mtu wa kumzaa hakuna mtu hujizaa no matter how powerful you are You are bound to. You are bound to. Na kama wewe ni komesha, tuonyeshe ulijizaa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hakuna mtu hujizaa. Hebu angalia jirani muuliza wewe ulizaliwa na nani katika mambo ya kiungu. Who birthed you? Because if you are not birthed, na asicheke akwambie nani alikuzaa, umezaliwa na nani? Where are your roots? Who, what is your genealogy? Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini unaona ile kasumba iko na Nabal hatambui neema. Na ikiwa kuna kitu kinasumbua kizazi chetu ni watu ambao hawawezi tambua neema. Hata kama iko, it is hard for them to recognize it. Si ati huyu mtu hakukuwa amesikia kwamba Daudi alikuwa naye. Kwa sababu lazima wafanyikazi wake walikuja na kumwambia. Na walimwambia aje huo huo ushuhuda ambao Abigail aliambiwa na huyo mtu mmoja anamwambia these people were so good to us these people never harassed us in other words hata hawa kondoo anachinja ni kwa sababu ya ulinzi wa Daudi hangekuja because at that time kulikuwa intruders wangekuja na wachukue mifigo na waende nao lakini kwa sababu ya kupigana kwa Daudi ndio hawa wanyama walihifadhiwa lakini anasema nini Daudi ni nani by the way by the way Daudi ni nani akinaombea watu msiingiwe na kasumba ya kudhihaki kile bwana amechagua kile bwana amemiminia mafuta 
May it never be your portion. Mana watu wengi wanajimaliza. Adwaigene yo me hakoraga. Adwaigene yo mani naga desene shiao. Na konyarara kerea gai yaradhimete. Na konyarara kerea gai yorotete. Na konyarara kerea gai yigere ile uoko wake. Uyu mjinga hata akiwa mjinga ange ishi ishi. Na pengine in the process ya kuishi ishi ange pata hekima. Abadilishi njia yake. Please. God honors his oil. God honors his grace. God honors what he invests in the lives of men. Because he's not a waster. Kumbuka huyu ni mtu ambaye wakati anamiminiwa mafuta maniko inasema nini? Mungu anakataa wengine saba. Waliokuwa wameleta vichwa vyao. Amen. Na anasema tungoje huyo. Halafu anaambia Samuel I do not see as a man sees. Let me tell you friends. When you see God choose a man. Even if you think you are so anointed. Hold your peace. Let me say it again. Mana watu wengi wamekatiza hatima yao. Watu wengi wamekatiza kule mungu wange wapeleka. Watu wengi wamekatiza kuna wiri kwa maisha yao kwa sababu ya dhihaka ya kile Mungu amepiga muhuri. Mtu ataweza kaka na kwamba haendi mahali. Ataweza kaa kama yeye ni bure. Lakini usisahau ana muhuri wa Bwana. Ataweza kuwa na maudhaifu zake nyingi sana. But God never consulted you as he poured his oil and remember he says i do not see as a man seeth lakini anasema who is david who is david who is this son of jesse somebody who has broke away from his master before you open your mouth to talk watch out Na kasema simpei. Kuna watu wata wanafata watumishi wa buwana. But they think you don't qualify to eat my tithe. But I come to this church. Shame on you. It's disorder. Yeah? Don't qualify to take my money. Attitude ya naba. Who are you? Nikupe ni kata yangu. Uwewe ni nani? Nikupe ni yama yangu. Uwewe ni nani? Ni mpako wa mafuta wa Bwana. And it makes all the difference. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He refused to recognize the grace. He refused to identify with the misery of David. But wait a minute. David would not be miserable forever. Kuna watu wa watakagi ya ibu ya ministry. Unataka kukuja wakati mambo yote iko sawa. Yeah? Wakati mambo imekolea na inaendelea. Sasa hiyo ndio mwito na anointing unasikia nimeogoswa kukuja hapa. Lakini siku za aibu na za kuzurura hazina wa, 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 wateja wengi. Yeah? Uh, he refused to identify with the misery. Mocked, mockery. Akasema nowadays there are many servants. Yeah? He was a stingy and an arrogant man, full of pride. May God help people who have resources. For you to know you own nothing, it is God who has made you a steward. Is of it was he kukuwa zanabal? Mm-mm. Alikuwa amepewa asimami. Na wana watu mungu wame grace na money. Don't try to control God's work like a remote. When you give any to the Lord, wachana nae, si shuguri yako. Wana Yesu wa sifie. Uyu mtu anasema verses 15. These people are good to us. They did not hurt us. Neither did we miss anything good or bad. Let me tell you. Servants of God may lack many things. But when you are under the grace, 
you enjoy protection. You enjoy things that money can't buy. You enjoy peace of mind. You enjoy the shalom of God. Daudi anasema, they were a wall to us. Mutumishi ndi anasema. Amen. Na Biblia inasema, wakati Daudi Abigail alisikia maneno haya, angalia verse 17 vile Bible inasema. Now therefore, know and consider what thou will do. For evil is determined against our master and against all his household. For he is such a son of Belial that a man cannot speak to him. Amen. What about the above correction? Yeah, anybody. Wana hitadi intervention ya maraika ikudze. Ndiyo wasikie kile ambacho wanaelezwa. Na Biblia inasema, when evil was determined against the household, kama Abigail angenyamaza, bad wangelia. Listen, mothers. Kufold your hands na kuangalia mambo, hakuta kufanya uondoke shida. Uovu wa inagani. Na nita kuonyesha. Bible inasema verses 18. Then Abigail made haste. Point number one. Mothers are swift. Wamama huwa na kasi. Kasi. K-A-S-I. Hawakai hapo kuona mambo ikiharibika. She acts to do damage control. She stands to stop destruction. Because there was a legal ground for the judgment of God to strike Nabal's house. Iki buriyote. I arrogance yote. I maringo yote. Lakini buwana akipata mama. Ata kama kuna legal right ya adui kuhonga, a mother will stop God's judgment. Ata kuja katikati. Angalia zipora. Wakati mungu anataka kuwa Musa, anatafuta jiwe, anatairisho mtoto. Because alijua, in disobedience, kuikuwa na legal right. Angalia jail. Na ujua ya kwamba king, I mean, commander sisere, alikuwa rafiki ya, ya mume wake. Lakini alisema hapa sita urafiki, Nita kujua makusudi ya bwana. Amen. Hallelujah. Naangalia huyu mama. Wakati anaitishwa anaitishwa maji, anapeana maziwa. Si Mungu apee wanawake resources. That you can go beyond. Hallelujah. Siku katwero toruta mere mere. Kwa nini unajitoshanisha? Neema yetu sio sawa. Kama umebarikiwa kaa kama mbarikiwa. Kama uko mbele, kaa kama uko mbele. Angalia Rebecca tuliona jana. Aliona uh, I mean, kitu kinaenda kuharibika. A generation of mistake is to be done. She stepped in. Angalia vile aliambia Jacob. Quick, go to the, enda kwa, kwa, kwa the pen. Bring two kids. I prepare them. Swiftness. Mambo mengine haya hitaji kujivuruta. Ina hitaji wewe kuact. Ni kama mtoto anguke kwa moto. Halafu useme, ekenya bedo edhi muino. I mean, you have to run. Because unaelewa, iyo kitu isipofanyika mara hiyo hiyo. The damage may not be reversible. Angalia Sarah vile alisimama. There are things that require swiftness. May we receive swiftness of the season that is required. Amen. Number two, she identified with the sins of her husband. Aliambia Daudi nisambehe. Idhambia hii mjinga wangu. Hallelujah. Nisambehe. Kisha kasema. Hear the words of thy handmaids. Amen. Alikuwa natafuta nini? A hearing with David. Who is a type of Christ. And in Matthew 18, 
Yesu anapopeana parable ya the widow anasema is God not able to hear those who call him day and night Seek a hearing with God Umetafuta kusikika na MCA na wale wengine wote Seek a hearing with God Amen I love that that that, that song Eh yeah, sijui yote lakini muheani utairaga ngoro eh yeah, na tanogaga ni gututhikiriria una riria hatari undu uraigua he listens una riria even when you are saying nothing god will never dismiss you from his presence he is a high priest that identifies with our weaknesses amen may we receive the grace as mothers to go and get a hearing with our king praise the name of the lord number three. na unisikilize vizuri she nourished david and the army what a powerful mother we said mothers have breasts breasts are for feeding breasts are for nourishing jeshi nzima huyu hakukua mwanamke mdogo Hakukuwa mwanamke wa kuyumba yumba Bwana Yesu asifiwe Angalia Then Abigail made haste and took 200 loaves and two bottles of wine and five sheep ready dressed and five measures of parched corn and a hundred clusters of raisins and 200 cakes of figs and laid them on asses Mothers never lack They never lack a word in season to give to the weary heart. They are not wells that are dry. They bubble life. The Bible says I'll give you the tongue of the learned and you'll speak a word in season to the weary heart. Mothers are nourishers. They have the word and who was she giving nourishing a king That is why Asha was told you will feed kings and Anna the daughter of Phanuel comes from the tribe of Asha That is where she had a word for the Lord in Luke chapter 2 Wakati Yesu anapresentiwa hivi Wana neno sio maneno Wanaongea neno. Angalia mama ya Lemuel, anamwambia aje. It is not in the manner of kings to waste their strength on women and wine. People who aspire to be great, they keep off from wicked women. They keep off from wine. Counsel of the king. All that the word of the Lord shall be in the mouth of mothers. Praise the name of the Lord. Because they are sustainers, they are, they are nourishers. Uyu mamuze Daudi ni muita hivyo king. Amechoka na jeshi lake. Amekimbia. And I tell you, hunger is not good. Kama Daudi hata pengine angeambiwa hayo maneno kama angeshiba, hange angekuwa na uzito hivyo. Lakini sasa anaambiwa wakati he so tired. Anaambiwa wakati he so weary. Nataka uangalie and I believe mimi I'm convicted the mothers that will understand who they are at this season they will become treasurers of god because god knows no matter how much he blesses you hautamwekea mipaka na ndio nasikia kuchapo watu kwa watu wamebarikiwa lakini wanataka kujifananisha na wale wajabarikiwa Acha wewe unakaa hivi unaangalia project za Mungu wewe. Wewe na baraka ambayo Mungu amekubariki nayo. Unaangalia projects kusudi za Mungu zikikwama. Unajitoshanisha na watu wengine. Ni lazima kuwe mothers that will understand their sustainer. This lady was sustaining a king and a king does not eat avocado na mokurushu did you ever eat such food 
Praise the name of the Lord. They need to be preserved. You know, I counted at these things. Nikaona, one offering. Oh, may God raise such mothers. Nourishers. They have food. They can sustain the work of God. Bira kiburi na maringu. Ya kwamba program za Mungu haziwezi kwama. Watu Mungu ataamini na resources and they will be faithful. My mom na hakukuwa na roho mingi sana. Kwetu ni kijiji alikuwa anapiga anapika food na 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 drum. Because kwetu home ni karibu na njia. Na every day my mother lazima ange hmm, ange ange peel viazi debe moja. She, she, was, she was geared, accustomed to that. So any passers by anga ingia na kukula food. Because she is a nourisher. Sikuizi suhuria zetu ni kama hii kikombe. Because mioyo ime kunjamana. I wonder who we are having, mothers or nabals. Stinginess of heart. The Bible says, she gave. 200 loaves of bread. Hata siku kakulate na ile kubwa, nilikakulate na ile mkate ya 50. Ikakuja 10,000. Na wewe ukifikiria vile utoweza kunja 10,000 ulete kwa mabdabau. Pressure inapanda. You just can't imagine. Five sheep dressed so nikaipe bei ya kawaida 25000 two bottles of wine hiyo sina hakika lakini nilipe 2000 so 4000 five measures of past corn nikaipe 1000 100 clusters of racines nikaipe 10000 200 cakes ambayo ilikuwa na fig nikaipe 1000 Na wakati nili hesabu, it was almost coming to a hundred thousand. Not a day. Morning session kama hi. Iyo ndiyo analet. Unajua kwa nini alifanya hivyo? Alithamini Daudi. Akathamini kile anasimamia. Akadhamini mafuta ya bwana ndani yake na alijua kabisa kabisa kwa moyo wake wokovu wa Israeli uko ndani ya Daudi If you really believe your ministry has a mandate from God it is on a godly assignment you cannot refrain That's the difference that's the difference. Abigail. Ali Damini. Daudi. Ali Damini. Neema. Ali Damini. Kazi. Vituko ambavyo tunafanya na giving is an indication we don't even believe what we follow. Ali Tafuta Punda. Kupereka sadaka. Uliza jirani. Nirini ulitafuta punda upereke bana sadaka. Nirini. What a blessed mother in Israel. What a unique mother. Kuna ombi na jiombea majira haya. Si mungu unijaribu. Si unijaribu na resources. Si unijaribu uone kama. Nitaangalia kazi yako ikikwa. I pray that this afternoon, every mother you will position yourself in what God wants to do. Na mandiku inasema, akifanya haya mambo yote, hakuambia nabal. Point number next. Mothers keep secrets until the fullness of time. They don't say. They don't say. 
and I know of many mothers from Morocco. When it comes giving to the house of the Lord, they want to consult their husbands because they know the husband will say no. Lakini wakati unaenda getate na ngubasho, you don't say. You look for a way. The secrets of the Lord belongs to those that fear him. Wa mama huweka simu. Nani ashasikia mama yeyote akisema wadhe wa mwanawake? They don't say. Ha? Huh? Mwingine hata ataandikwa the whole night. Akiulizwa kazini ni nini nilianguka? Mkurale kuterezu. Kaanguka vibaya sana. They never say. They keep it. Abigail never told Nabal because hangelewa. Let me tell you my friend. When it comes to giving, do it yourself. Sijui katikati ya 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 Anania na Safira ni nani alisaliti mwingine? Suppose Anania angeambia I mean Safira angeambia Anania. Sio kusudia kupea Mungu hii kitu. Sio mpeleke tu. Sini uamuzi tumeamua. Ha? Si uende tu. Wewe peleka. Tutajua vile Mungu atakuja. Mungu ni wa kweli mothers but she conspired with her husband because she is a woman Jochebed kept the secret of Moses hakusema alikuwa peke yake Esther didn't reveal her identity she kept it a secret Elizabeth hid herself for five months after conception Mothers keep the secret of God until the fullness of time. Angalia hii. Kile Nabal alidharau a mother by name Abigail alikiheshimu. Mothers respect even when the future is not yet revealed. They see through the eyes of faith. Secondly, she became a prophetic voice to Nabal. Joel 2:28. Your daughters shall prophesy. The prophetic grace has the ability to deliver people from slavery. Kwa sababu Daudi aliposikia maneno haya aliingiwa na uwaji. And I hope somebody will listen. Akitumutu mmoja hata kama ni mama mmoja atasikia. Wakati Bwana anakuwekelea jukumu la mama kulea watumishi wa Bwana. This was a servant of God anointed with potential. Lakini katika hii hali alikuwa karibu wa mwage. If a mother never stood. If a mother never stood. Daudi angewekea eh, mipaka yake, huduma yake na hatima yake. But see this prophetic voice inamwambia You are not supposed to shed blood. You are not Si unakumbuka hata kuna vitu ambavyo hakufanya kwa kusababu ya kumwaga damu. Na unakumbuka wakati Joab aliua Abna na akaweka hiyo sword na hiyo sword ikamwaga damu kwa miguu yake. Daudi alimwambia nini? You have limited your progress. Hata kama ungekuwa umuhimu una mtu wa muhimu sana kwa ufalme wa Daudi wa, wa Sulaimani umejiwekea mipaka. Usikwenda tabia ya kuwaua watu. You will limit your own destiny. Don't shed blood. Usiraruwe raruwe watu. Listen, listen and I want to talk to mothers today. Please listen mothers. There is truth you know about things. But you die with it. Because the moment you speak it out, even if it is truth, it will be disastrous. 
kuna mambo unanyamaza nayo mpaka siku ile Yesu atarudi unaambia bwana na kuhifadhia hizi hata kama ni kweli kuna mambo sisemi na sisemi kwa sababu gani haya mambo kuna mambo ya huduma yetu sisosema mpaka siku ile Yesu atarudi kwa sababu najua nikiongea the destruction that will come mothers hide things in their hearts they are reservoirs because they are mothers there are things they won't say alimwambia usi shindanie na offense ukijua utasema maneno ilete offense si unyamaze si unyamaze hata kama ni ya kweli si unyamaze si uhifadhi huyo mtu kutokana na offense alisaidia david kutema offense ili akajue hatima yake sikiliza david vile anasema in verses 32 baada ya huduma ya mama abigail alikuwa anamsukuma into his position in god and david said to abigail blessed be the lord god of israel which sent thee this day to meet me a madara was turned into a worshiper a mother but a madara into a worshiper amen verses 33 and blessed be thy advice why she is a reservoir and blessed be thou which has kept me this day from coming to shed blood and from avenging myself with my own hand anaambia abigail nini ashukuriwe mungu wa mbinguni maana si kumwaga damu let me tell you when mothers stand we can't hear of scandals in church we won't abigail stood akasema haufanyi haufanyi nimesimama kwa hayo malango ya uovu na haupiti hapa wewe si mwagaji damu wewe ni mchungaji wa Israeli wewe si mtu wa kulipiza kizazi wewe ni mtu wa kusamehea na kuachilia amada amada you can stand in the gate of your home as a mother to your husband na kusema kuna mambo hayatapita kwa hii jamii kuna mambo hayatafanyika kwa sababu gani bwana yuko pamoja na mimi napenda vile alimwambia mwisho na Mungu akitimiza hiyo yote usinisahau aombeni mkienda kuomba msisahau wigi kuambia bwana onani ugekira furuni onani ugeka maudu mashioreka onani na wakati Daudi alikuja kwa ufalme alisema endeni mtafute Abigail hiyo hekima yake ninahitaji kwa sababu gani nimezingirwa na maadui wengi kae gaya thage kutumanira muthenya wa umuthi Praise the name of the Lord because you are relevant. You are so relevant. Ya kwamba kuna mambo I, I believe even in first Samuel chapter 30. Kitu kimoja kilifanya Daudi akapigane ya Abigail. Alipata motisha wakati alizikia ati Abigail ni captive. Alienda kumpigania. May you are relevant as a mother never be diminished in jesus name tuati hapo because of time